Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable the command prompt feature in Windows 7, Windows 8, and Windows 10, excluding Windows 10 Home Edition. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the start menu. So just go left click on the start button one time. Type in local group policy. Best match should go back of edit group policy. Go ahead and just left click on that. We're going to make our view a little wider here. And now you want to go underneath user configuration. So you want to expand underneath user configuration here and double click on the administrative templates folder list underneath of here. Do not expand the administrative templates underneath computer configuration, so I'm actually just going to collapse that whole selection there. I don't want anybody getting confused. So underneath administrative templates, which is under user configuration, we're going to now locate the system folder and go left click on that. And now on the right side, I'm going to just make this again a little wider. Should be something that says prevent access to the command prompt. We're going to go double click on that. So now if you want to go ahead and disable the command prompt, you want to select enabled. And then in this drop down, disable the command prompt script processing also. You want to click inside the box and select yes. And then once that's done, you just would go ahead and select OK. So now let's say we try to open up the command prompt. So let's just type in CMD. And we tried running it. You can see now it says that the command prompt has been disabled by your administrator. So if you press any key to continue, it'll just close out of it. So let's say we want to turn that off. So let's say we want to re-enable the command prompt functionality. We're going to go double click on it. Either select not configured or disabled. So one or the other. It was originally not configured, so we're just going to go select that. And then select apply and OK. And now if we attempt to open up the command prompt again, you can see we're good to go. So pretty straightforward process here guys. I do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.